Type 1 and Type 2 Errors Hi, I'm Dr Nick from Creative Maths, including Statistics Learning Centre. In this video, I'm going to talk about Type 1 and Type 2 Errors, how you can tell which is which, and why it matters. When we draw a statistical conclusion, we can never know at the time whether we are correct or not. There are two different ways that we can be wrong. They are called Type 1 Errors and Type 2 Errors. In reality, either the null hypothesis is true or it is false. When we perform a hypothesis test, we make a decision either to reject the null hypothesis or not to reject the null hypothesis. If we reject the null hypothesis when it is false, that is a correct action. If we do not reject the null hypothesis when it is true, that is also a correct action. If we reject the null hypothesis when it is true, that is a type 1 error. If we do not reject the null hypothesis when it is false, that is a type 2 error. Another way to look at it is that a type 1 error is when we wrongly say that there is an effect when there isn't one. And a type 2 error is when we fail to find an effect that does exist. In weather warning, forecasters need to make decisions about upcoming weather events. The null hypothesis is that the event will not be life-threatening. The forecaster gets evidence of a life-threatening weather event. From the evidence, they decide to reject the null hypothesis and send out a warning, saying that it is life-threatening. If the event turns out to be severe, the forecaster called it correctly. People are grateful for the warning. Lives are saved. If the event is not as bad as forecast, the forecaster made a type 1 error. People were warned unnecessarily. If instead the forecaster had decided that the weather event was not bad enough to send a warning about, they may be correct. Great! Or, if the forecaster is wrong and the weather event is life-threatening, then they made a type 2 error. They failed to reject the null hypothesis when they should have. There are costs to both types of error. Generally, it is better to err on the side of a type 1 error in this instance and send out a warning that turns out to be unneeded. People get strangely disappointed when bad weather events fail to turn up and may start to ignore warnings in the future. But, failing to warn of a catastrophic event can lead to loss of life. In hypothesis testing, the alpha value or significance level tells us what the probability is of a type 1 error. The probability of committing a type 2 error is labelled beta. The probability of not committing a type 2 error is called the power of the test and is 1 minus beta. It is important to know which kind of error is which so that you can communicate with other people using the correct terminology. I find it easiest to think, did they reject the null hypothesis? If they did, then they will either be correct or make a type 1 error. If they did not reject the null hypothesis, then they will either be correct or make a type 2 error. It is also important to be aware of the two types of error so that you can make good decisions about your significance level and sample size. This video was type 1 and type 2 errors. Please ask questions in the comments below and suggest topics for future videos. Click the like, subscribe and click on the bell for notifications. And may your errors be as few as possible.